local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're in Milton with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, what brings us to this park? We're going to learn all about Vermont Civil War hero General George Stannard, who lived right on this site. And uh, the Milton Historical Society has preserved the house. So they took it down, and we're going to talk to Kate Kadriak, who's chair of their house committee. She's going to tell us a bit about Stannard and also about the project of preserving that house. General George Stannard was born in Georgia, Vermont in 1820. He enlisted in the Civil War, and his most famous performance was at Gettysburg and was responsible for Gettysburg being won in favor of the Union. But he had many businesses in the area. He had a foundry in St. Albans where he made bricks. He also had this farming operation, which was on this site, and he had a very large barn. He lost his arm in one of the battles. Hmm. So the barn was created, designed, so he could operate it as a one-armed man. Was he recognized at the time for his service in the Civil War and how important it was, the local celebrity, or did he kind of fly under the radar? I think he was recognized, but he did not receive a Medal of Honor. We are in the midst of trying to get a Medal of Honor for him. Oh. Senator Leahy is helping us with that. And we've met up with a couple of roadblocks, but we're hoping to get past it. Can you tell us where we're standing at the moment? We are standing at the original site of General Stannard's house in Milton. There were several attempts to save the house and restore the house that failed. So we got this committee together. We have disassembled the house, done by um, heritage builders, and it is being stored up at the recreational field. We are going to re reassemble the house at Bombardji Field near the barn, which is a barn of the same period that he had here. Amanda, we're joined by the president of the Milton Historical Society, Bill Cagle, and he's going to tell us a, a bit more about uh, Stannard's early years and kind of Civil War service. In his younger years, in his, into his early 20s, he was um, a teacher. He would, he would teach in the, in the wintertime, he would farm in the summertime. George Stannard was uh, Vermont's first volunteer for service in the Civil War, and he was also its longest serving. And I mean, he was so famous um, in Vermont, I think a lot of it really around Pickett's Charge. Yes. And around Gettysburg. And I mean, to put people in, in, in place, Lee takes his army and he lines it up with this grand Napoleonic charge up a hill. But the Vermonters, they were on the side, right? And they were commanded by Stannard. And then, you know, what did he do? They did a flanking maneuver to the side of that large number of men, as you said, and and they broke that charge. They broke the charge. And, and, and eventually led to Union victory at Gettysburg. You can say that, you know, Stannard and his actions at Gettysburg really, as Vermonters will say, won the battle. But I think any historian will say it was key to winning that battle. Absolutely. At this place in history.